you are still here and the rest are tired ah, i don't know about you but i felt more energetic after that there was no tiresomeness because when god is present and we are not doing it he is doing it why should we get tired <laughs> huh why should we get tired if he is doing everything that means we don't have faith that he is doing that's the bottom line when we have faith that he is doing everything then we don't need to feel tired right if somebody else doing is all your work why should you feel tired it's very simple said than uh, understanding and practicing it huh because once we get connect to that divinity then there is no that is complete surrender means that only surrender does not mean you know some high fund stuff surrender is very simply if god is doing everything why should i feel tired why would i not have all the time that means we still hang on to this thing that we are doing it and uh, it was incredible you know bhagwan's love and energy is so immense and i didn't want to announce yesterday but i should announce these padukas came from puttaparthi for sai center sacramento sai center hmm he is always one step ahead of us oh, all my children in sacrament or going to do prayers for me therefore i decide to come to sacramento and he the padukas came specially blessed to sacramento sai center that's the other thing that we don't connect to he is always one step ahead of us and the third thing is that after 12 hours of akhand bhajan to have this anuvakam start on a day after 13 hours of prayer is another incredible timing this anuvakam that we are going to learn today is the center of entire vedas if you take all the vedas four vedas put together and imagine that it's a book imagine because it's not a book the center page of the entire vedas is this anuvakam so how could he has timed it with such incredible blessing that his padukas come we do the akhand bhajan and at the day after akhand bhajan he decided to do this so is there any question now that who is doing all this is there any question is there any doubt who does all this but the other thing is to be in the satsang to be in the sadhu satsang doing the chanting doing the nama sankirtan doing the prayer this is the only sadhana required in this particular age you do not need to do any homas yagnas yagas tapas yama niyama dhyana nishta nothing is required the only sadhana that is required in this age is to be in the presence of satsang and to be chanting his name to be saying the mantras as together as a community it doesn't matter how you much sit alone at your home and pray the efficacy of that prayer is dismal nothing compared to three people coming and doing the same gayatri mantra doing the same rudram but we are still not connected to that the question is how do you take the satsang with you how do we energize the whole place how do we actually bring together the love of bhagwan felt in that satsang this is the essence of sadhana too because no matter how much we alone sit and do it what happens the mind is constantly wandering 
at some point or the other the mind wanders but when there are five people sitting and doing when your mind wanders you watch your neighbor and say hey how come he is able to sit and chant like how come he, that person is chant why is my mind wandering and it is very simple as that it is really practical spirituality is that only but then some people say oh i am a gnani i don't want to be associated with anyone that is only in your feeling in the satsang to have nissangatvam is the essence of spirituality see what did shankaracharya say satsangatve nissangatvam nissangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischala chittam nischala chitte jeevan mukti hi he is giving the order of mukti the liberation end goal is liberation but where is it starting satsangatve from satsangam you get nissangam what how is that possible paradoxical isn't it isn't it paradoxical how can from satsangam you get nissangam now this is the definition swami beautifully explains in a discourse what satsangam means satsangam is described as association with the company of good people but sat sangam means what is sat ha huh? sat is i always explain to you what sa, sat chit ananda sat is sat is satya is truth sat is you forgot the definition of baba i'm giving another clue somebody on the online must be shouting what the answer is but sorry i can't hear you uh. huh definition of baba b a b a hey, it's going like this and going out like ha huh? uh, being is sat chit means awareness bliss means ananda always is a being and is the sat so sat sangam means means you are constantly associated with the being and when you are constantly associated with the being then what happens nissangatva means then the company doesn't really matter because you are in the being ha huh? that is the essence of but how can we be in the company of people and have satsangam so here means what it means is when five like minded people come together means what with one focus and goal and with one pointed devotion towards the god with one pointed end point an end goal then what happens they are the people that are committed to be in the being and that is how that is the purpose of sai centers the purpose of sai center is not to come here and get dragged into the same dirty politics of all the stuff that you see if that happens why center no point of a center come to the center the center is here come to the center means you are coming here to connect to the center and the center is him nothing else matters what is it that we are doing that pleases bhagwan that is the goal of why we come to the center nothing else matters when that center attachment is there then you always get nissangatvam because you are attached to who now the being the being is your center and that's how you get the nissangatvam nissangatve nirmohatvam no attachment nirmohatve nischala chittam when there is no attachment you are still why you are still like completely stable and still sthanu sarva sarva shiva sthanu when you have no attachment you are still you are not perturbed ha huh? because 
the problem comes is attachment with attachment comes fear with attachment comes insecurity with attachment comes stress with attachment comes all kinds of problem anger greed jealousy everything is coming from the attachment when that is not there you are one focus you don't get perturbed you just keep marching towards him that's the previous anuvakam that we ch- we learned dundu bhyaicha when the call comes you are not perturbed you march towards the light we are marching in the light of god and when we walk towards the light what follows us is our shadow when we walk away from the light the shadow follows us so when we are all walking towards god that is the essence of an akhand bhajan of course the body will continue to give problems but then that's where you come nischala tatve jeevan mukti hi this particular anuvakam that we are going to chant or learn next which by the way the chanting yesterday was phenomenal it was just so incredible i don't need to teach you guys anything anymore you all are chanting so beautifully all the 11 rudram chanting was very powerful very complete but i was disappointed that many children were not sitting there and chanting huh they chanted only partly rest of the time they got distracted but all the adults were chanting phenomenal it was beautiful energy so the, in fact i am not teaching you anything anymore it's only the the opportunity of satsang and namassomaya cha rudraya cha now why is this particular anuvakam so powerful this is maha mantra there is a mantra and there is a maha mantra now in all the different anuvakams the divinity is connected to the one that is responsible for the undercurrent of everything that we see huh so all the different things are described how they are all the different professions all the different uh, uh, professions including thieves all the different aspects of mother nature all those things are described until now in the namakam after we started chanting hiranya bahave but in this particular anuvakam the energy that gives energy to all the gods is described now can you imagine if you look at a hanuman you pray to hanuman and he gives you all the powers everything a bhairava all the demigods all the shaktis all the siddhis for a person that is connected to god all the siddhis are standing in line asking like this genie in aladdin story huh the big guy that's a master what can i do for you when you are connected to god the undercurrent all the siddhis are standing tell us what we should do for you tell us what we should do for you but then even that is a distraction people coming and oh you sing beautifully you do this beautifully all that is a distraction if you get carried away with all that you lose focus of god that's not why he sent you all this all the things come to us because of the grace of the god including the siddhis including the demigods including all those guys will be standing in line but you say thank you sir thank you very much let me move on my goal is different it is him it is him then when you are marching towards the god then you will notice that the ultimate goal is even more powerful than anything else and that ultimate goal paradoxically is just within you but you never connected to it you go all over the place come back to the same center again oh my god what am i really searching for that one who is giving shakti to even the gods is the one that i need to connect namas somaya cha rudraya cha huh? let's learn uh, this particular anuvakam nam somaya cha rudraya cha nam somaya cha rudraya cha nam somaya cha rudraya cha 
listen carefully yeah, please kana listen and chant exactly what namo somaya cha rudraya cha 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 namo somaya exactly like the intonation should be exactly when it is up up when it is flat flat right listen exactly what it's like learning a learning a song nam somaya cha rudraya cha nam somaya cha rudraya cha good better somaya cha rudraya cha nam ताम्राय <coughs> नम नमस्ताम्राय चारुणा च नमस्ताम्राय चारुणा च शंगा च पशु पतये पशु पतये च नम उग्रा च भीमा च नमो अग्रे वधाय च दूरे वधाय 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 च अग्रे इज फ्लैट नमो अग्रे वधाय च दूरे वधाय च नमो so when there is no dashes up or down right give me your book how it is written i don't know ah uh, so if there is if there is no dash on the top or in the bottom underline then you chant it flat okay now like where is it uh, <coughs> okay namo o is top right agre वधाय च राइट सो यू हैव टू पे अटेंशन टू हाउ इट इज इंटरनेटेड ओके नमो अग्रे वधाय च दूरे वधाय च नमो नमो हंत्रे च हनीय से नमो हंत्रे च हनीय से नमो हंत्रे च हनीय से नमो वृक्ष 
ಕೇಶೇಭ್ಯೋ ಹರಿ ಕೇಶೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಸ್ತಾರಾಯ 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 ನಮ ಶಂಭವೆ ಚ ಮಯೋ ಭವೆ ಚ ನಮ ಶಂಕರಾಯ ಚ ಮಯಸ್ಕರಾಯ ಚ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ಚ ಶಿವತರಾಯ ಚ so let's uh, that is that in itself is we have to perfect that this particular mantra has to be chanted to have the full efficacy any mantra first should be chanted with perfect intonation then only it will have the effect otherwise there is no effect okay the effect is of the mantra is the swara that is the sound the mantra itself the efficacy is the sound why because the sound is the one that has the energy right so when we are chanting the mantras if we don't perfect the intonations properly and the pronunciation then there is no effect of it it doesn't harm you or anything like for example current is everywhere put like that am i getting shock huh? no shock no but take a socket put your finger in it what happens huh yeah so when people say oh chant properly otherwise it will harm you what it means is when you are actually now you are opening the current the wire is open you better be careful that's what it means okay but it doesn't harm you in the context of there is no harm in chanting a mantra but if you want to get an effect of it if you want to be benefited by it or if you want to now here is the other thing lot of people think uh, oh my god then i should not be chanting if you are chanting for the purpose of benefiting somebody else then it doesn't even matter but 99% of the people are chanting for what hey, hello excuse me who are we praying god for who our cells yeah when it is used on the self you better be careful if you are praying for others then there is no harm that's why for me it is very simple i never pray for in myself very simple in fact 99% of the time there is no asking also there is no asking why ask he gives without asking also right did you ask for padukas ha huh. he gives he just gives that's his nature so why ask this is the other thing that we are trapping right this is the other simple trap why do we need to ask but you can ask for others then the power is even more he will immediately give if you ask for others no matter even without set next thing it will materialize so when you pray for others if it has such an effect huh then what you need to be doing is you should be doing it so perfectly you call somebody home for dinner do you tell them hey here eat some bread and go home do you do that what do you do you prepare for them no you take care of them you prepare whether right amount of salt is there everything is there and then you feed the person right 
because next time when you go to their home you expect the same <laughs> <laughs> this whole world is business only nowadays that's why god is doing this incredible miracle everything in today's world is associated with transaction 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 i do something for you what do you do something for me this is become a transactional world so hence god is doing this can you pray without any transaction but he is doing all this not because he wants to be healed by us hello excuse me he is the doctor of all the doctors do you think that god will get healed because you pray he is basically doing this to awaken the divine consciousness within us without any transaction can so called my devotees the sai devotees without any transaction can they engage in prayers can they engage in service can they engage in love throwing this challenge and waiting for how many flowers will stick to this tree and this flower is now this tree is full of this flowers called sai devotees ha huh? little bit of wind comes 90% of the flowers will fall off they won't even stick to the tree and there will be only 10% of the flowers stuck to the tree after those 10% of the flowers he is watching how many of these will tolerate a typhoon a hurricane and then what happened oh man the other of the other 10% a lot of them will fall off oh my god i can't do this i have this i have that i have to take care of this i have to take care of that then only a few flowers will still be hanging on to the tree he is watching which flowers really are stuck to me and then what happens after those very few flowers only a few will get pollinated and when this pollination happens rain comes petals fall off many flowers will also fall off of those only a few will become fruit and of those fruit again freeze comes many fruit are gone bad of those only a few will really ripe on the tree and that is the one that the beautiful parrot will come and eat it in telugu we call chilaka kottina pandu chelaka kottina pandu the parrot will come and eat that then you know it is perfect so brothers and sisters when we pray for others and swami is actually throwing this test at every one of his so called side devotees nowadays you run everywhere everybody is a side devotee yeah everybody is a side devotee oh, we are swami's devotee is that what it, what it become like everybody is balaji devotee everybody is a, but what is the definition of a devotee what is the definition of a devotee a bhakta is what is called a devotee in telugu in in sanskrit bhakta advaishta sarva bhutanam maitra karuna evacha nirmamo nirahankara samadukha sukachami this is the definition given to a bhakta by krishna in bhagavad gita advaishta sarva bhutanam the one that doesn't hate any being on this world not only not hate them maitra with friendship karuna evacha compassion treats them nirmamo not attached nirahankara no ego equipoised for pain and pleasure this is the definition of a devotee if we now take the definition of a devotee apply to the so called sai devotees what happens the time of transformation has come and hence god is doing as i said last class samadana bheda danda upayas now he will use everything in order to ensure how many of them are subject to this test and taste my divinity 
So why I was saying you have to chant with intonation is, if you really want the efficacy of the medicine, then you have to take it with proper conditions, right? Isn't it? Hello, excuse me. There are some medicines you don't need to follow any instructions. Even those there are, there are instructions. Even Tylenol there are instructions only. If you have a couple of alcohols, you should never drink, you should never take Tylenol. Why? Because it causes liver toxicity. So every medicine has some bad effect only and good effect. But some are generally prescribed. This is called OTC, over the counter. Okay? And those mantras are like Gayatri mantra. <laughs> they are like OTCs. You can chant them anywhere, everywhere and there is generally no effect. But there are some mantras that you need to be extra careful with. And when you follow the instructions of the prescription, then the efficacy is fantastic. And one of these mantras is this Namasoma Echarudra Echa. Why? Because you are invoking the divinity that is giving divine power to every other divinity, to every other God. So when you are chanting Namasoma Echa Rudra Echa Namasoma Echa Rudra Echa Namastamraya charunaya cha Namastamraya charunaya cha Namastamraya charunaya cha Everybody together Namastamraya charunaya cha Namastamraya charunaya cha Namastam Raja Charuna Jecha Namastam Raja Charuna Jecha Namastam Raja Charuna Jecha Namashanga Jecha Pashupata Jecha Namashanga Jecha Pashupata Jecha Nama Vugra Jecha Bhima Jecha Namo Agre Vadha Jecha Dure Vadha Jecha car clashes. See now what happens. The current has to flow together. It's not like all over it is split in 515 different direction. That's why when the mantra is chanted, you have to chant with others. And then the effect is, uh, otherwise it's like everybody chanting in their own way won't get it, right? So chant, chant together, okay? There is There should be a flow to it, okay? Namo Agre Vadha Jecha Dure Vadha Jecha Namo Agre Vadha Jecha Dure Vadha Jecha Namo Agre Vadha Jecha Dure Vadha Jecha Namo Andre Chahani Jecha Namo Andre Namo Vruche Bhyo Hari Keshe Bhyo Namo Vruche Bhyo Hari Keshe Bhyo Namo Vruche Bhyo Hari Keshe Bhyo Namastarayam Namastarayam Nama Shambhave Chama Yobhave Chama Nama Shambhave Chama Yobhave Chama Nama Shambhave Chama Yobhave Chama Nama 
नम शंकराय चमय शंकराय चमय स्कराय च नम शिवाय च शिवतराय च नौ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मंत्र देर इज ए प्लेस द चा इज मिसिंग नेक्स्ट शिवाय शिवतराय एवरीवेर व्हेन यू आर चैंटिंग राइट देर इज द चा दैट इज एसोसिएटेड नमो वृक्षे भ्यो हरिकेशे भ्यो देर इज नो चा एंड नमस्ताराय देर इज नो चा राइट बट वन मंत्र इज स्टैंडिंग ऑल बाय इट एंड व्हाट इज दैट नमस्ताराय राइट व्हेन यू आर चैंटिंग नोट इज दैट Namastaraya is all by itself. Everything else has something associated with with it as a continuity, right? Namasoma ya cha rudra ya cha namastamra ya cha runa ya cha namasanga ya cha pasupata ya cha namavu. ग्राये च भीमाय च नमो अग्रे वधाय च दूरे वधाय च नमो हंत्रे च हनी यसे च नमो वृक्षेभ्यो हरिकेशेभ्यो नमस्ताराय नम शंभवे च मयो भवे च नम शं कराय च मय स्कराय च नम शिवाय च शिवत नम शिवाय च शिवतराय चैन यू चैन दट मंत्र अटल दिन ओके नम this mantram in the patham <coughs> you have to stop and you have to say om hara 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 five times ha huh? then right? om hara 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 om ha huh? you have six times four times you have four times ha huh. okay we can add one more okay buy one get one free okay <laughs> so the five times of the hara chanting is the five panchabhutas to whom he is giving the energy ha huh? 
ಓಂ ಹರ 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 ಹರಿ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನೇ ಕುಡು ವಿ ರಿಫರ್ ಟು ಹರ ಶಿವ ಹರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹರ ಅಂಡ್ ಹರಿ ಟೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಹರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಹರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌ you see the preserves the hari what is he preserving the i okay the i is what is present the difference is what you said i a and i the one who is what who is preserving the i because in reality there is nothing that ex- there is everything is dissolved there is no difference hello there is a big part of there is a big pile of mud and the pot maker is making the pots then what happens he is stamping on it he is pouring water on it he is stamping on it then what does he do he pours the pot he spins the wheel pours and then when he is doing like this then out of it a pot will come out a big you know anything will a flower vase can come out what is he shaping this before he shaped anything is there anything except mud the same mud only is there right? isn't it huh? so the mud is hara the pot is hari the one that is giving the shape of the eye everything here is mud only huh everything here is mud only but one part has the name of shaker another one jagan another one vishnu another one oh, i don't want to leave you out sneha whatever right but to begin with everything is mud only hari is the one that is giving that i the identity without that identity the one that gives identity is hari and the one that is actually dissolving everything is hara you understand now the question is ha <clears throat> huh? the one who is seeing the identity the one who sees the mud in everything or in fact swami says this beautiful poem no huh the ornaments are many but gold is one the stars are many but the sky is one the cows are many but the milk is one see all of that huh all of that aspect of connecting to the one in the many is a hara and hari means also saying a hey, see that the, it's very beautifully swami said this once you know um, burgul ramkrishnaogar you know, he used to be great devotee of bhagwan he asked him you know they are vaishnavites and uh, he asked him gopala pashupati what's the difference swami said job description is the same but they are called by different names <laughs> gopala means the one who is taking care of cows pashupati means the lord of animals cows are included in that okay so the job description is the same the names are different so the job description is also hari means the one who actually dissolves the identity of association with the small i both have the say now you see how interpretation is so beautiful is why i am talking about this why do we need to say hara 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 huh? you never you never say you are saying hara 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 means dissolve the association of my identity with the body with the mind <clears throat> so that i am not caught up in those associations dissolve 
my petty association <coughs> yeah and when you do that <coughs> when you do that you are invoking the context of dissolution now you become the one of the the one association that is the sat sangam the being huh? that's where we started that's where we want to end because that's where the so when we chant this let's chant this mantra one more time <coughs> next week <coughs> we are celebrating uh, shivratri but interestingly tuesday is sri ram navmi we are celebrating shivratri celebrating shiva right after sri ram navmi so this sent see how swami plans everything hello excuse me i, I Are we still thinking we are doing anything here? Huh? This the the significance is there is really no difference between Rama and Shiva because who was asked what Rama was by who? Parvati to Shiva. She asked Keno Paye na Laguna Vishnu or Nama Sahasrakam Pachyate Pandita ir Nityam. श्रोतुम्छा प्रभो शीज एस्किंग ओ लॉर्ड केनोपायन लघुना विथ वाट सिंपल उपाय दट इज शार्ट ए शार्ट शिव शीज शी नोस हाउ इनक्रेडिबल द पीपल विल बिकम इन कलियुग आलरेडी शी एस्ट लांग टाइम एगो कैन यू गिव ए शार्ट फार्म्युला बै विच पीपल हु कैनाट ईवेन चैंट दिस विष्णु सहस्रनाम how can they get benefited because in kali yuga the time will come when they will not have any time to sit down and chant the name of god and especially not this 1008 names and forget about it you are kidding yourself so can you please give a short code keno paaye na laguna laguna means short one a short upaya don't give me a long list of things huh? she saying people won't have time please summarize the summary so <laughs> because vishnu sahasrama itself is a summary of a lot of things now even that we cannot learn and chant she is saying can you please summarize this summary so that in kali yuga comes they are very busy watching cricket match for the entire night but they won't have time to come and do shivratri for 12 hours <laughs> and unfortunately or fortunately that is the, they will play for cricket to be won but they cannot pray for god huh? because they'll be praying for india to be the world champions but unfortunately they won't have time for you lord therefore can you please tell what is the shortest summary of the summary then vishnu nama sahasrakam pachyate panditair nityam shrotum icham means uh, those even the pandits when they who can chant it all the time all the time without any inhibition what did he say what was the mantra he said ha huh? shri rama rama rameti rame rame manorame sahasra nama tattulyam rama nama varanane now oh, sri ram nam is coming on tuesday swami is making me making you all chant this mantra also sri ram ram rameti rame rame manorame sahasra nam tattulyam ram nam varanane and he is saying who said that ishwara said that ishwara said oh my divine lady varanane means the one whose face itself looking at her face you get all your desires satisfied varanane anane means face varanane means her face itself gives you all the boons so sri rama 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 iti this is it he said sri rama 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 iti rame rame mano rame <laughs> oh see how beautiful i can take another one hour explaining this uh, what this mantra is rame rame mano rame 
what it is saying is rame means the one which your mind when it gets married to it becomes illuminated by the current of just that sri rama 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 when saying that the mind gets illumined rame means it becomes enlightened rame because of the rama mano rame sahasranama tattulyam this is equivalent to the 1008 names rama nama varanane rama nama how can then sir what are you telling me mathematically how can sri rama 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 is equal to 1000 is it possible what are you talking mathematically it doesn't make any sense does it but there is a secret even behind that if you take our alphabet ya ra ra is number 2 pa pha ba bha ma ma is number hello yeah i'm even showing the fingers pa pha ba bha ma ma is 5 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 10 times 10 is 1000 excuse me what school you are going 10 times 10 times 10 is 10 to the power of 3 is 1000 1000 now the one is god zero is human that is the other way of association with this 10 ha huh? and so the sri rama 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 is equivalent to 1000 and the one who knows rama is actually ishwara shiva the one who knows shiva is only rama nobody else hello understand this the one who knows shiva is rama only rama is the one that knows shiva the most shiva is the one that knows rama the most and hence what did rama do after he has killed ravana he before and after before he went to lanka hello excuse me how many of you really know from india please raise your hands yeah excuse me what did he do before he went to the lanka he prayed ah what where did he pray uh, on the sea on the sea and what's that lingam called shiva shiva lingam right <laughs> 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 ah what's that lingam rama lingam rameshwaram it is called the place is called rameshwaram and the lingam is rama lingam rama established that lingam and prayed to shiva why did he do that hello why did he do that there is another significance of that who was he going to kill a great shiva bhakta not ordinary shiva bhakta there is no shiva bhakta like ravana period questionless so before he killed his devotee he is praying please god forgive me i am going to kill your good devotee because he is not following dharma so when you understand what rama is our lives get sanctified the essence of the entire human being how a human being should live is described in ramayana that's why it is called ayana means path rama means rama's path the only path to be followed is that of rama's nobody else and that of sai rama's so now we are talking about what ramayana means why do people do this ramayana we take ramayana put it on a thing and keep hitting our head three times like this hoping that something will go from here into here and putting on an altar everything but what happens this is more dense than this so what happens whatever is here is going in here nothing is coming from here to here so reverse osmosis is happening and therefore we lost connectivity to even that hello don't hit your head for heaven sake with ramayana take what is in the book and follow that and this ramayana see how incredible swami is with this center he decided to do celebration of shiva the week after rama navami now this is where we should all be so grateful to the living god the loving god and the incredible god i'm going to I'm sorry i'm t- taken 10 minutes more than needed but i wanted us to connect to the prayers right before sri ramanavami 
and Tuesday is Sri Ram Navmi. The week after that, we will be celebrating Sri Ram Navmi and Shivaratri and together. And let us pray, continue to pray. Today also we will have the prayers this at 7.30. We will do the Gayatri and the Rudram chanting. Let's close with the Om and Trishan. Oh.